No, well, I, I think that the, the measures are going in the, in the good direction. It's a good step on in this good direction. I think that the bid in favor of stability is crucial. It's not possible to maintain the euro area without a, an adequate uh, fiscal policy. Nevertheless, I think that these measures are designed to pay more attention in the medium term to the system. And of course, these measures are not necessarily solving the short term problems of the euro area. On the other hand, it is true that these decisions are not paying enough attention to other questions, such as how we are able to solve the legal problems derived of these measures, and second, how we can solve the problems doing with growth. Uh, unless we have a certain rate of growth, we will have additional problems in Europe, and probably to find a way out of the crisis will be much more difficult. Well, uh, I think that the agreement among 26 members of the European Union and with the different position of the United Kingdom is in a certain sense a kind of uh, cooperation, intergovernmental cooperation among members of the European Union. And it means that we have to solve two problems. One of them is the legal integration between this uh, cooperation among 26 members and the United Kingdom because it's something similar to what we have done with Schengen some years ago. On the other hand, it is true that the United Kingdom continues to be a member of the European Union and all the re regulations dealing with the European Union have to be applied, mainly as concerned the internal market, and that's not only with the, European, uh, with the United Kingdom, but also with the other members. And in this sense, I think it's, it's positive to maintain as many links as possible between the United Kingdom and the other members of the European Union. Uh, because, uh, of course, our, as Europeans, we ought to be in favor of trying to solve these problems in the medium term, if possible. I think that the euro is a crucial driver of the present process of European integration. And this so relevant point as concerns the future that all the countries which are members of the euro consider this reference as the crucial one of the process of integration. It means that uh, we have, if necessary, to adapt all the other decisions dealing with the European Union with this Euro support. And probably the agreements of Brussels are a good uh, example of this uh, approach. Uh, for the Euro countries to save the Euro is so crucial that we are ready even to accept some agreements which are not unanimous in a European Council. And probably this will be continued like that in the future.